Step one. To be a ninja, you all you have to learn how to be agile, which basically means practice jumping, running, and the other things that make you agile. Here is what I've done so far for running. jumping. The jumping's not good, the running still needs a little bit of work, but not much. Um, step two. Make sure that you know how to, you know, blend in with your surroundings. If you have a mission, when you go on it, if it's in, if it's in front of, like, um, it's in like a field of grass. Dress yourself up in like... Cut. Action. Okay, so as I was saying, if you were going on a mission in like this, green, where are lots of... Action. So as you can see here, it's green, you blend in. Also, look for spots if you're just like sitting down in there, people are probably going to notice you. But look for spots like this. They've been dug out. Um, you can just lay, you can just crouch down like this. And people won't see you, but you can see them. And just like that. Thank you, sure. They can see you when your shirt's off. I mean, like, if your shirt's not like it. Okay. Like, the same color. Okay, step three. Always make sure that you know what you're doing. If you are on a mission and um, you're like somebody, like the guy that you're, the guy that you are trying to not get to see, the guy that you don't want to see you, sees you, you know, here are a couple of tricks that you not let them get seen. <laughs> First trick, or step, always make sure that your hiding spot is easy to get in and easy to get out of, but hard to see. Like, wait, hold on, stand right there, cameraman. <gasps> ah! I'm a girl! You can see him. But you can it's, see him. And it's easy to get out of. But problem. If you're trying to not get seen in this bush, there are leaves everywhere. You don't you're gonna get seen. This tree, um like hiding parts like this tree. You don't have to get in anywhere, you don't have to get out. You are easily spotted. And, oh, there's some growth over here that I didn't know about, but, um, There's a... There's... Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah. But, it's easy to be seen back there. That's not a good hiding spot already. And because you can get and bit signed the, by something. And also, the spots depend on who you're trying to run from. If you're trying to run from a short person, or not be detected by a short person, go high up where their eye level is. Like, if, like if somebody's this tall... And they're like looking like this, and you hide up in that big tree, they're not going to have like their eyes height sensing you. Or if somebody is giant, can't see down very far, then hide somewhere like small, like a big version of the Like where the camera is. Yeah, like hide on the ground, like right here, because then the tall person is he's so massive, you can just hide um near the ground and they won't see you. Always make sure that you can, how do I put this? Train yourself. 
Um, there was a stunt video that I was just watching called like Ronnie, some Ronnie parkour stunts or something. Go subscribe to him. Yeah, go subscribe. And like. Yeah, just go like and subscribe to him in this video. And will he show how to wall run? And it's like it's one. It's on a video called Top Ten Easy Tricks to like. Parkour or something, or easy parkour moves. Um, yeah, that was step four. Go train yourself and stuff. Step five is something very, 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 very important. What is very important is that you stay safe. You stay safe. Like, um, in the bush hideout, there could be a wasp or something back there that stings you and makes you scream and then they die. Or behind the tree, there's another wasp that stings you. Or if you, um, or if you're trying to wall run, that stay safe during hiding, safe during stunts, is if you're trying to wall run up a wall, make sure that there's something that you can land on, or that it's possible for somebody of your age or the human size to get up. Like, you don't try to wall run up the Empire State Building. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and, like, when you're wall running, if you don't grab the roof, you're falling. I mean, you could, on this roof, you could just, like, get on the shutter, but that's probably not going to hold you because it's very old. This is a very old place, and we live here. It's all out of my dad. My dad's, like, 50. 40. you guys saw that but that was pretty weird <laughs> there's the ball step seven. step seven follow all local laws <laughs> if you're trying to get something and it's like from a bank you seriously think the police are going to be cool with that man no if you're trying to steal money from somebody or like mug a rich person that's not right Sometimes you have to break some rules. Sometimes you have to break some rules like, like that. If you do break some rules and you get it from this video, our videos are only 10 minutes long and it's only 8 minutes. If, if, yeah. if, if people keep not following the rules or like they keep telling the police that they did this, then you have to get our videos like that. Stuff like that. It's not going to be good for us, but it's not going to be good for you. Have like pop out blades or like sharp blades that you can just go like this and throw it at them. Or if you don't have that, look up origami ninja stars and get like origami supplies and then like make the sharpest ninja star you can and like throw it at them. All right, this is the last step. I know I say that step eight was the last step. Step nine. Nine minutes, about to be ten minutes. You better hurry up. That's perfect. So 
you have to, ninjas have to be calm, silent, and no laughing during missions. You have to dress in ninja costume, if you have one of those, to be cool. Bye guys. See you all in the next video. My cameraman has just chatted with me. We have to end. Sorry guys. The meditation thing, the ninja, the stunt, everything. It's gone. Goodbye guys. Bye.